Mark, we're looking forward to doing your book uh, this January and looking forward to talking about lament. And I just have to say, I'm a little embarrassed to say, I, I don't talk much about lament. I don't think our people have heard me say lament more than a couple of times. And so I think this is an appropriate season to work through your book that explains the grace of lament to us. Can you, can you just tell me how lament has helped you? Yeah, lament has been my go-to place when life gets hard and it provides a framework um, both theologically and practically to deal with pain. And, you know, we're all dealing with a lot of pain. Um, I've dealt with a lot of pain and it helps me to know what are the ingredients for me to talk to God using the format of turn, complain, ask, and trust. So many of us kind of grew up with the prayer model of, you know, adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. Nothing wrong with that model at all. But when days are dark and I've got things rolling in my soul that I don't know what to do with, or when I have pain that is just lingering and isn't going away, lament becomes the language that helps me live day by day in God's grace, knowing that a faithful, sovereign God is in control and that he can handle my pain, he can handle my questions, and that real Christians are honest with God about their struggle. Sometimes we have this idea that real Christians don't doubt, real Christians don't wrestle, real Christians don't fall into despair. In fact, I think most Christians think the way that they make it is by denying that it's really hard. Lament says, hold on a minute, real Christians ask really penetrating questions about God and his purposes. And in fact, I argue in the book that lament is one of the most theologically informed, faith-filled things that Christians do. We take our pain to God and say, I don't know how this all works out, but what I do know is I can trust you.